Hi everybody, in this video we're now going to calculate price elasticity of demand. So we're going to work out the value of price elasticity of demand and what the curve of the demand curve is going to be like as a result. The formula that you need to learn for this is percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price. This is vital that it's a percentage change here. And the way to remember when you're working out elasticities, the demand or the supply always goes on the top line. If anyone asks you about economics, they'll always think you're learning all about demand and supply. So with elasticity, for any elasticity, remember that the demand or the supply is on the top line, and then the other factor is on the bottom line. So here, price elasticity of demand, percentage change in quantity demanded is on the top line, and the other thing is the price, so the percentage change in price is on the bottom line. So for example, the price of coffee increases, so our price increases from £1.99 to £2.40. And this causes demand to fall from 80 to 55. And we need to calculate the price elasticity of demand. So we need to think about the top line and then the bottom line. And you just need to go through it methodically, doing it bit by bit. So the top line, we know that we've gone from 80 units, quantity demanded, to 55. So we just will need to work out what is this percentage change. So the calculation for this is going to be 55 minus 80 divided by 80 times 100. And that is negative 25 over 80 times 100, which equals negative 0 0.312 times 100, which equals negative 31.25. So that's the answer for the top line. It's a long calculation, but we need to get to our answer just for the top line, just to see what's the percentage change in the quantity demanded. Maybe you can work through the second one, pause the video, work out the bottom line, and then play again to see what the answer is. So the bottom line, we know that we've gone from £1.99 to £2.40. So we need to work out what's the percentage change here. So it's going to be £2.40 minus £1.99 over £1.99. And we need to multiply this by 100. So when you work this out, it's 0 0.41 over 1.99 times 100. And that equals 0 0.206 times 100 and that equals 20.60. So we know that the figure for our top line is negative 31.25 and our bottom line is 20.60. So then for our whole calculation we need to do 31 0.25 negative divided by 20.60 and that will give us our final answer which is 1.52 and you just leave the number like that. So our price elasticity of demand for the coffee based on this information is 1.52.